Welcome back, friends. It is time for another installment. Chapter 15 of Broodening Love. Let's get into it. Chapter 15. Moonlight Soon Ata. Yo! Sorry. I've gotten a tad lazy of late, but I'll true not to stop from now on. Regular updates again, I promise. And seriously, you nasty riavuos, stop. I've asked and asked and asked, but you don't. God does not love you greater than. Go greater than. Away! One, 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 one. Okay, so for the nice people... On with the show. Colon three. Oh yeah. Love these hearts. These love hearts are Kitrin. No. Colon three. Heart heart. L3. Heart 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 heart. Night came and I walked outside. M was K so I left him to deal with his life slash fate. I considered calling the old manfart to tell him where I was, but he'd probably yell at me, so I'd just send a text saying I'd be home sometime. Drunken bastard. <laughs> Whoa. I flapped the hair out of my gemstoned green eyes and looked into the sky from the bacony. It was night. There were stars, and they all glistered at me, and I smiled back. Tull was beautiful. I had changed into a black gown because Al, author's note, Alice shortened, decided to trade clothes Timmy, so I could wear some of her nice older day stuff. Not quite a little black dress, but it went to Meniz. I don't want to know what that means. I had also used a makeup on my face and Maybalian mascara for the eyes. Author's note. Long lashes. Urtradon. For the win. The win rustled against me, my smooth creme skin rippling under the coon light. <laughs> what? I'm sorry, coon legit. Cool. I shivered, and warm arms raped around me. I felt a warm genital breath on my neck. <laughs> I knew it was him. Ward, I spoke softly and elegantly. Joan, I love you. He spoke deliciously, and I wanted him. But then I remembers the bad stuff he had done and pulled gently away from his graps. What is wrong, Joan? He asked. Have you for talked to M? I answered, the wind rustled against me. Have you? He walked up to me and planted a kid on my back of my head. I tore away again. Divine ass he may be, but he had to answer. Had he cleansed him in himself? But he still had to talk to him to make it right. Joe and I, I'll speak to him and forgive him. He flowered thine lord's teachings. It's all in capital letters. I don't know why. He has nothing to grave. I cried and ran off the balcony. Ward grabbed me and held me in his arms. Joan, I will. What is bothering you? I know you. You don't become this upset unless 
is it something to to do with me joan there's like an ellipsis between each one of those words so i had to insert a paw i that's probably incredibly annoying and i know because i read it but anyway yes it is i love you too deeply to let this pass especially with james on the loss i i i need to know if you'll ever beat ray me ward looked shocked so I walked up to Himen to explain. I love you, Bard. I feel Sith. I always have. I cannot invest myself knowing you might hurt me. He looked at the ground. Joan, I never could. No! One, I screamed. Ward was surprised. No, Ward, I mean, I yes to know if you want to be with me forever. I promise I'll never hurt or beat Ray you. What do you mean, Aaron? 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 I'm um, yay. Yeah, I cannot stand the idea of you ever betraying. There you go. Me for another woman. I want you, Ward, and only you. I thought of Jay. I could never beat Ray Ward. And back to spelling it wrong. Wasn't it right to ask the same? I want to marry you, and I want to be claim a vampire. <laughs> Lord, the spelling. He walked to the Bacal Colony. I don't know if I can. It's barley enough to keep control of myself. I understand Jasmi and why he wants you. You smell too wonderful for this world. I don't think we should see each other again, Joan. We'll protract you from James, but then we must part. It's the best for us both. He had trees falling from his Amba eyes. He flew away. <laughs> he can fly. Heart, 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 heart. Poor Joan. Will Ward commit to her? Find out sometime soon! Happy emoji. Lol, Becca told me this emoticon. So thanks to her and you people, you know who you are. Don't fucking flame. I'm sick of your pathetic lies! So, um, uh, let's just go to the next chapter then, shall we? Because, <laughs> Lord, this is really going places now. <laughs> Broodening Love, Chapter 16, Goin. That's G-O-E-N, Goin. Hey, Jenny, guess what? You're a slut. Fuck you. I told you I liked Tim, but you didn't care. No, payback's a bit. Ha 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 ha. Love you, but seriously, I'm for fucking I. And to everyone enjoy, I'm really not in the mood for your shit. Heart, 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 heart. Except not to certain people. See, this is this is the meta drama I was waiting for. This is so now now the team is no longer a team. So now we're gonna get like a angry spite fiction written about each other. So here we go. <laughs> I went home to my fat tatters that night. I felt butter at the world. Had Ward had just dumped me, and I was so upset. I couldn't stop crying. I looked myself in my room and watched the moon through the window. How could he dump me? Did he dump me? Leaving your girlfriend after a talk like that, I don't know. He had been so mean. Had he just left me because I was hot? It was unfair, 111. I wondered if this was how Jesus had felt being beat raid by Judas. Yes, Judas dumped him. <laughs> and that's what the entire Bible was about. Okay, well, you know. <laughs> I went flaccid at the idea of living without Ward. 
I fell to the bed and cried some more into my pillow, and then I went to sleep crying and teary. The next morning, I woke up hopping that everything had been just a bad dream. But when I got out of bed, I saw all the pictures that were of me and word had been ripped up. He had calmed into my room that night and taken everything that reminded me of him. I felt so sad. So I rung Jenny. She would know what to do. And owed me after I had pretty much set her up with Bruth, J, and M. Aaron, weird left me, 111. I screamed down into the phone. I'm a good. Why did he leave you? Jenny asked me in concerning tone of voice. Because out of all the ironies, I am too hot. I told her. I was angry now. Then I explained with the blood list and the James and the commitment I did use. I will came over, Jen told me, and then she hung up. Then, still crying, I got into my blue polo fleas and cream skirt with the black stockings and the black stilettos and applied my babalion again with blue eyeliner this time. I sighed my hair brown because I had become sick of red. Just all this in like 15 minutes, you know? You know how you do. You know how you do. Jenny drove her car over that she got for her birthday. It was white and really pretty and curvy. Author's note. Like her. Nah, colon three. Love you, girl. No home, okay? <laughs> oh my god, here we go. She got out and come in my heels. We sat at a table together, and I told her what Ward had done to me the night before. How could he leave you? You're too hot for him. Jenny said, trying to make me feel better. I did because she was right. I was too hot for him, but only just, and I still missed him really bad. He was the only love on my life. Then Fernando walked into Hose. He looked at us, and Jenny ran up to him and gave him a hug. You didn't tell Emma you were coming over, Jenny squeed. Oh, God, squeed. Do you guys remember people doing that? And kissed him on the check. What is wrong, Jisowen? Jacob asked me, shirt rippling with muscles, as his native Indian face was perplexment. Author's note, best description ever. <laughs> Okay. Word broic up with me because I smelt too good, I told him, and he frowned. I didn't like him. I knew he was a bad vampire, he said, spitting at the ground. He cared for my honor that much? It was entrusting. I locked away from him, though. I didn't want him calling Ewad a bad person. Epic collie when Ward had saved my life. He isn't bad, but we have issues we need to sort. He wants to ate me all the time, and I need to be with him forever as I shelf, I said, and tears flopped from my eyes. <laughs> Just flopping tears everywhere. Jacob came over and hugged me. Ginny didn't mind because we are all friends, and she now so I wouldn't pull anything on her boyfriend. It'll be okay, Jay told me, striking my hair with his soft hand. <laughs> He's just hugging her. It'll be okay. It'll be fine. Why are you so worried? It'll be okay. <laughs> just slapping her in the back of the head over and over. I snoggled into his body. He was really warm and comfortable. I didn't want to let him go, but I had to because Jenny was looking glaring at me from over his shelter. It's my favorite Pokemon. I cussed myself for having a moment of weakness, but Jenny eased and Jay didn't seem to have any idea, so I kept my mouth shut. I was sad. I wasn't doing anything. 
We then all went up to my room because Dad was coming home from the factory and he would want us out of the way. Wait, I thought he was the mayor. We all lied on my bed together and looked at the roof. I was between Jen and Jacob, but Jen was doing it to make me feel better. She is the best person ever, and I love her lots. What are you going to do now that weird is going? Jenny asked me, and I felt Leek crying again. I don't know. I miss him so much, and I love him lots. He isn't fucking gone. We just had a spate. I yelled and punched my pillow in the face. His face. Feathers came out and landed on Jay's nose. He blew it off, and we started laughing, and I felt better. He gave me a cute smile, and I returned it. Just like he handed it to her. <laughs> Then I remembered Jen, so I got off the bed and made them get closer together. I desired to leave them along, so I left the room and went out the back. Jen and Jacob stayed together in the room, together. Out the back, I sat on a tree and thinked. Edward and his family had gone from my life, and all became of me. After I was safe from Jim's, I would be alone. New friends... In a new school, a new town, a new world. It hurt so much. My stomach felt sick. All of a sudden, Jacob was behind me and he sat down. Where's Jenny? I asked him succupiously. She had to go home. Her mother called her, Jacob said. Do you want to come to my hose? I nodded. I had nothing but tar to do. We both got off. Okay, I will go to your place. Fernando's house was in the next town. His dad was in a wheelchair and didn't say anything to us as we walked in and to his room. His room was big and messy and smelt like werewolf. It was weird, but I actually kind of liked the smell of his room. Jay sat down and watched me. Are you still going to call John? Yeah, I won't let him hurt you. I don't want him to call someone as Butiefiel as you. I blushed and he was really sweet. And he smiled cutly and I walked over to him and hugged him. Maybe, maybe I had a thought. Author's note, a horrid and wrong thought. That maybe Ward wasn't all there was in my love life. I smiled and looked to the new day, but... <clears throat> Jenny was at the window! 1111! There's like a huge gap between these, so I had to put in a pause. Anyway, heart, 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 heart. Fuck you, Jenny, you thieving whore! God smite you on the face of the earth! You two, you sitting f bags! Angry emoji. I don't know what happened, but I know there was a lot of anger. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I hope that, uh... <laughs> I'm sorry, I just scrolled down and one of the comments was, Jenny was at the window, reminds me of, then who was phone? <laughs> okay, so, uh, yeah, thank you all for being here. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, I have a Ko-Fi and a merch store, and you can check those out, and I'd appreciate it. Every Saturday, there is a live stream, so, um, you know, you can come check that out. And if you want to send me weird suggestions for things to read, or stories, or whatever, r slash moonhorse stories. I check it every day, so I will see it. Thank you all for being here, and I'll see you in the next episode. Who was phone, after all? Okay, goodbye. <laughs>